Hey folks, uh, to my shock horror, um, the last section where I did this check wall here and the front walls, um, it decided to not record my audio at all. So from this point here, I do not have the energy to fully re-record this section. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to talk you through what I've done. So first things first. Um, this actually probably took me half an hour. This is the check wall here. So what a check wall basically does is it provides a redstone pulse um, to a checkbox. And at this point here, the checkbox has a couple of systems in place to um, to let you know if you're getting raided, basically. So we've got another one on this side here. So when this redstone line gets broken or interrupted in any way, it will trigger some systems in the checkbox. So I'm just going to break it away so you can sort of see what's happening. I'm just going to remove that water there as well. So behind this all is a bunch of circuitry. So at the bottom here, um, you can see that redstone line there goes into this sticky piston. When the sticky piston retracts here, um, it will start pulsing this observer. And because there's an observer with its like looking face looking into another observer, they will then start to um, pulse nonstop which then pulses this observer, and because redstone lamps can't update in time, this redstone lamp will light up permanently. It won't flash, and that redstone lamp up there will also light up permanently, so you can see it from the roof. Now, for everyone wondering why I had water on top, that's because when those observers pull away uh, like this, it reveals a dispenser and it starts shooting off fireworks. Um... That probably took me about half an hour to do, I won't lie. Working out the contraption um, to get that working properly. Yeah, that was that was a bit of a nightmare. And of course, when you close it all back up again, it stops and it seals itself back off. And you've got two access hatches here to refill the fireworks. So you can just do it like so. Additionally, there's also a chest within the checkbox that's just filled with fireworks. Um, you can't refill the fireworks from the inside, sadly. You do need to fill them in from the outside. So anyway, let me just patch all of this back up. And I need to put that sign back here as well. Where are we? Off, good, on, bad. And with the checkbox completely sealed back up, it all the systems still function as normal. And if you are, say, flying around your base, um, it's pretty obvious to see when you're getting raided, um, mostly because of that. So you can see that from a fair distance. I think just the rendering on Crystal is a little bit lower. Um, but if you have anyone in the checkbox, anyone checking walls, yeah, that's that's pretty obvious that you're getting attempted. Now you can access that... Um, dispenser there while it's firing but you can't say anything so you can steal their fireworks by triggering their check wall but without triggering the check wall you can see it's fully sealed like that um and yeah that's pretty much it for the check wall there um next up we've got a set of two full wraps around the front so what this basically looks like is cobblestone uh cobblestone wrap cobblestone wrap sand full sand wrap cobblestone wrap and then we've got our check um our check check ocean what am i saying we have our patching ocean here so this is where you're going to do most of your patching before these filters get breached once these still filters start getting breached you start you can now start patching in this pillar area here and once this set of uh filters here gets breached as well you can then just start patching in here too but this should be fine for um patching in once these filters are breached apart from that just patch in the ocean um anything else not really um so this is the finale of the series except for the next video um this is the final episode of actually building the base um i'm not going to include u fusions u fusions of course just go up along 
Uh, this side here, go down to like Y40 and then just chunk bust. Let me chuck my chunk bullets. Chunk bust um, these chunks at like Y40, chuck on some revs on it, and you're pretty much golden. You can basically just shoot. Depends how you do your fusions. If you want to shoot out and then across um, like that, you could probably go through the bottom of your 360 box and then just adjust in either this front patch ocean here or adjust in the pillars. Uh, it's up to you. Um, but just be careful when adjusting the pillars because you don't want to give them more spots to back uh, back snap the front filters. Um, and apart from that, that's pretty much it for this series. So this is a 12 chunk base. So we've got a chunk of mine chats, chunk of flats, three chunks of lava spam, two chunks of pillars, chunk of filters, two chunks of pillars, chunk of filters, and then our check wall and patch ocean here. Um, I'm not really sure that you could come up with a more annoying base than this, to be honest. Just having to go through so many pillars over and over um, is just incredibly annoying, especially when they're paired up with filters like this. So in, I guess, not so much the finale, but like sometime in the future, um, I'm going to get a decent Canada to try and raid this, so you can sort of have a look at the time um, that you have to react while using this base. But apart from that, that pretty much is it. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the series. Um, if you have any questions, throw them in the comments. And additionally, if um, depending on what you want to see in the next um, series as well, uh, feel free to throw your recommendations in the comments as well. Um, I do look at the comments for every video um, because I have such a small, um, such a small group of people who do watch my videos. Um, you can just come in and say whatever you want, and I will look at each and every one of them. Um, I don't always react, but I always look. So apart from that, the scams for this video will be out in the um, next video, um, where I'll do a a deep dive into how to actually set this base up on complex. And to be completely honest, um, depending how, I, how I'm feeling, I might actually build this base on complex and just see how well it holds up. Put some creepers in the middle or something and just see if anyone decides to raid it. I doubt it, um, but it will be a lot of, a lot of base work for me and anyone else that wants to join. Um, I won't be playing much if I do play um, because I have started uni full time now um, and yeah hopefully you guys all enjoy the video and I will see you all in the next one